Fonseca hits back. Sajith's branding challenges and imminent crossover from NFF. Another worry for SJB to get out of hand. Sajith dismantles FPC. GL stranded. Rajapaksa crony Virasinghe takes a shot at Prasanna. Suji Swara leaves Gotabaya. The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Prothi Pelagasma. Fonseca hits back. Sajith's branding challenges and imminent crossover from NFF. Just like the leader TV predicted a week ago, Fonseca went to courts and obtained an injunction on Monday morning against his removal as chairman of the SJB. A group of UNP lawyers is assisting him in the case. Colombo District Court Judge Sandon Vithana issued the order against his removal as party member, Kelania organiser, and against disciplinary measures. Issued to SJB leader Sajith, General Secretary Maduma Bandara, National Organiser Atanayake and Treasurer Harsha, it is effective for 14 days. After obtaining the order, Fonseca started attacking everybody at the court premises itself. I have a different relationship with the President. He is my former leader. He brought me into politics. I haven't even spoken about or thought of doing politics with the JVP. Some of Sajith's advisers say his image got damaged due to this court order. They discussed the matter at length and decided to reveal Fonseca's double games. A top policeman has been asked to find out the dates and times of his visits to Diana Gamage's home. Atanayake and Marikar have the job of exposing Fonseca. In order to up Sajith again, a decision was taken to lure several people from other parties very soon. Lakshman Fonseca said he could snatch two lawmakers from Wimal's party even tomorrow. Sajith has to play various media games to maintain his brand name. At this rate, he will have to do much more to uphold himself. But short-sighted acts could backfire to lose whatever position he now has. Another worry for SJB to get out of hand. The telephone party has another worry these days. Rather than the orders given by their boss, some get directives from someone else. It seems this right-hand man of the boss believes himself to be more powerful. Angered by his orders, some have even decided to leave unannounced as their complaints have gone unheeded. In the same way we predicted about Fonseca, we expose this matter that is likely to get out of hand very soon. Sajith dismantles FPC, GL stranded. Dulles and his SLPP breakaways formed the FPC on September 2nd last year. Speaking at its launch, its leader Dulles Ala Haparuma described the occasion as a turning point in Sri Lankan politics. In the beginning, it had 13 MPs, but very soon internal strife started happening and the situation prompted its executive committee member Dylan to make a statement to the media on 18th December 2023. Ranil fears their alliance, he said, and accused him of plotting to divide them. But it was Sajith who actually did that. While talking to Dulles, he lured GL Pyris and Nalaka Godahewa followed by Dilan Pereira, Chana Jayasumana, Kumara Siri, Yapa Bandara and Galapati separately. All were given SJB electoral organiser positions, but Muslim leaders objected to Jayasumana with ACMC leader Rishad Bathiuddin lodging his opposition in writing. So Sajith decided to put off launching their alliance until the announcement of a general election. Jayasumana has now dropped off and Godahewa has gone missing. A lone GL announced at a media briefing on Monday that he will support Sajith at the presidential polls. <laughs> there is talk that GL is openly supporting Sajith because he has been promised the premiership. In the meantime, Jayasumana is involved in a project to boost his image, he has just received the Scientific Freedom and Responsibility Award for 2019 from the American Association for the Advancement of Science in recognition of his research on kidney disease prevalent among the farming community. When the award was originally announced, agrochemical companies and others objected to it. So, a jury was appointed to take a decision. It upheld that Jayasumana should be its recipient it is clear the United States is involved in elections in Sri Lanka. 
Its ambassador visits G.L. Pyrrhus at his home and brainwashes him. Lakshman Fonseca is badgered into treating him well. Jaya Sumana is given an award. They even go to the NPP office. All these happen, just as India too has become involved. This presidential election is quite decisive. The country's fate is uncertain if deals with powerful countries to gain power go wrong. Rajapaksa crony Virasinghe takes a shot at Prasanna. The big worry for the SLPP these days is its presidential candidate. It sent out a feeler courtesy Damika and failed. Now, it concocts news about Namal and sees what will happen. Rajapaksa crony Virasinghe from Ampara yesterday said the SLPP is full of youths with qualifications to be the president. He said what Ranul did to the UNP to be left with a single seat, and Sirisena's ruining of the SLFP should not happen for the SLPP. He says further that the candidate should be chosen by the party, and there is no room for personal agendas in that. Therefore, it is pointless to announce a candidate with many months to go for the election, and what should be done now is to protect the party, Veera Singhe adds. It is very clear why Namal is getting Veera Singhe to speak like that. The target is Minister Prasanna Ranatunga, who wants Ranil at the helm for another term. Together with Mahindananda Aluthgamagai, he has even opened a campaign office for Ranil. Not just the SLPP, but also the future of the Rajapaksas hinges on the decision whether the SLPP supports or does not support Ranil. Sugiswara leaves Gotabaya. According to political sources, Sugiswara Bandara resigned as ex-president Gotabaya Rajapaksa's private secretary on Monday. He has tendered his resignation to the secretary to the president. He is going to accept a position from Nimal Lanza as the Colombo district organiser of the new alliance. About a month ago, the leader TV revealed how Namal met Gotabaya and complained that Sugiswara plotted against the Rajapaksas from his office room at the presidential secretariat. But Gotabaya did not take those accusations seriously. Then Mahinda got involved and told him to remove Sugiswara. In turn, Gotabaya told his private secretary about the pressure he is getting from his family. Then Sugiswara decided to resign. It is reported that he is going to unleash a scathing attack on the Rajapaksas when the new alliance holds a rally at Hyde Park on the 24th. As organiser of the rally, he vows to bring 10,000 people, including more than 500 monks. He also says former Western Province Chief Minister Isura Devapriya, the former convener of the Inter-University Bhikkhu Federation and former SLPP councillors in Colombo, will get on Lanza's stage that day. The aim of the rally is twofold. One is to show that they too can draw crowds like the compass. The other is to attack the Rajapaksas. With these two in mind, a social media operation is also in progress. A comment army of around 60 youths is countering a similar campaign by the Compass. Lanza had boasted at the presidential secretariat recently that he will nullify the NPP's monopoly on social media within weeks. That means Ranil has entered the presidential race and is ready to battle on various fronts. Sajith has to play a do-or-die game for survival. AKD is a different sort of fish after his Indian tour. Things are heating up with the election nearing. We will bring you the latest before anyone else. That's it for today.